everybody, this is Glenna and I'm a crazy homesteader. We are making a crustless pizza. We're going to put our favorite toppings on it. You can put on yours, whatever you would like. I've got um, some Baby Bella mushrooms over here sauteing. I'm going to make them nice and crispy. I uh, put a little bit of butter in the pan and I put a little bit of um, avocado oil and a uh, little bit of garlic salt. So we are just letting these crisp up. I like to cook them on a fairly hot temperature and get them nice and toasty looking like that. This will be enough. We have some more left so we'll make some spaghetti I think tomorrow night with some of these leftover ingredients. So tonight is pizza and I've got some Italian sausage. This is about a pound and a half of Italian sausage and there's only two of us so we're just using a nine by nine pan. So we will not be using all of this sausage but never fear tomorrow night we'll be here soon enough and we will make uh, spaghetti with the rest of some of these ingredients. And this is sticking because it doesn't have enough oil in it. So I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil. Probably about a tablespoon. There's no sense in letting it stick. It should stir around now. So this will take me probably about another 10, 15 minutes just to get all of the pink out of this. And if anybody's wondering about me, I'm having that kypoplasty next Thursday. So send lots of love that day. I want to say thank you for all of the new followers on Facebook. We also have a YouTube channel of the same name. So if you want to run over there and click on I'm a Crazy Homesteader over there, that it would be great too. A little easier to watch on your television over there. Some of the content is a little different from the two platforms but most of it will be the same. Sometimes I do a live on one and not on the other is the only thing. This video will go on both because it's a taped video. Alright, these are looking great. And in fact, I think they're about ready to come join the party. And the sausage is getting close too. I guess while we were talking about my broken back, everything kind of got done to where it needs to be. All right, let's start <laughs> with the sauce. My hands are greasy. There we go. So we're just going to put enough sauce on the bottom to cover the whole bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little bit of cheese in. This is pre-shredded mozzarella. We bought a big bag of it at Costco a while back. And we need to use a little bit of it up. So I said, hey, why not pizza? Pizza's yummy. Alright, 
that's still cooking a little. Now we're going to put our mushrooms in. They can be the bottom layer. And then we're going to put a little bit of the sausage in. And we're going to put another layer of cheese. We do want to make it kind of cheesy. It's a little thicker than you would normally make a pizza, but it's more like a pizza casserole. Alright. And we are going to add just a little bit more sauce. Because like I said, that's a pretty thick layer in there. There we go. You could serve this with different things. A salad. We have a salad here tonight. And I may or may not eat salad, but it's here if I want it. And I'm going to stick that back there because this front is pretty hot still. Like I said, that'll go on our spaghetti tomorrow night probably. Here's our pepperoni. We try not to eat too many processed meats, but, you know, if you're going to have pizza, you may as well have what tastes good on it. So we're going to put this layer here. Got the oven on over there. It's preheating to 400. And we just got to make sure it heats all the way through when we put it over there. I probably need two or three more pepperonis to give a full layer. Mm. I'll stick a few extras on here. There we go. Pepperonis delicious. All right, I'll be right back with onion and bell pepper. All right, here's the bell pepper. I'm gonna cut that in long, thin slivers. Just kind of place it around. The thinner, the better. That last one might have been a little thicker than I would really want it. Just like the pizza shop does, nice long thin strips of pepper unfortunately most of our pepper plants are dead now because it got cold we do have two that i've been taking in and out of the garage a shishito and is the other one a cool opinion already huh Oh, I think one's a shishito. Oh, yeah, one's a shishito pepper. I think the other one might be a jalapeno. All the flavor without the heat. All right, and I did say onion, too. But can I produce onion? Let's see. Yes, I can. So I have part of an onion in here. So we're just going to cut off, again, some real thin slivers and put them around. I 
I had friends at an exciting dog show this weekend. I did not get to go. All of my dogs are champions already, so there was really no reason to go. And with my back the way it is, I couldn't show a dog anyway. So I'm lucky to have finished the one that needed one point a couple of months ago. All right. There we go. Look at that. And then we're going to put just a, another little layer of cheese. Then that's all we're putting on ours tonight. Make a comment of what you would put on yours if you were making this tonight. My stepdad used to put shrimp on our pizzas. Little tiny baby shrimps. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll be back when it's out of the oven. Okay, here we are, nice and bubbly. I'm gonna let it cool down for just a couple of minutes. We did cook this at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. If yours was thicker, you might wanna go up to 20, or if it's super thin, you might wanna stop at 10, but 15 minutes was about perfect for this little pizza casserole. All right, I'm gonna try this. Mmm. It is very good. I am going to try to cut this without actually looking at the bowl because I'm looking through the camera. 